Welcome to part number 7 of Gran Turismo 5 B-Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we hired a brand new driver. After the fortunate firing of A. Sanchez, we hired Kamui Kobayashi to drive for us. So this is our first actual race car driver in real life that we got lucky enough to find his name, and I hired him on the spot. But I am going to change up my plans once again. I did say I was going to develop him while leveling up, but I might change that up, you know, like... I'll show you right now. Today we're going to do the Supercar Festival, and I'm going to be using my Lamborghini Aventador for this. So let's go find it. Nope, that's the wrong car. This thing is an absolute beast of a car. Sports softs are allowed here, and we have just enough money for them, but we are going to gain that money back by doing the Supercar Festival. Now, Daytona is the race that I'm looking at to put Kobayashi in for his first attempt with the team because it's an oval. This car is really fast, and the competition, I can only imagine that they won't be able to keep up. So, Flynn's going to start us off at high speed ring, and let's see who we're going up against. Ferrari California, Aston Martin DB9 Coupe, Saizetta V16, an RGT Rough, Corvette Z06, Corvette Z01. <laughs> There's a Veyron in here, but I'm not too concerned about him. I think the Aventador will be doing really good around the corners. Damn, 596 credits. Yep. We broke, boys. Yeah, man. We spent all that money on uh, the Camaro, on the Toyota Vitz, or the Yaris, I mean. And we spent so much cash, dude. But you know what? Flynn should do a good job here. We should, be, we should be getting that money back from this race. So round number one, high speed ring. Here we go. Beautiful start, Flynn. Hell yeah, buddy. I mean, I know this course kind of OP, but this is a supercar festival after all. It is all about speed. XJ220 looking to go around the slow back markers, but unsuccessful at doing so. All right, Flynn, just do your thing. Can we get the Cezetta into this turn? Nope. The V16 is going to go for the lead right away. The Ferrari California should be really easy to overtake. I mean, it's not really that fast compared to our Aventador. Late overtake, yes. Nicely done, Flynn. Nope. California's holding him off. That's okay. We have this long straight here. Wow, the RGT is coming in hot. I don't know what the hell Flynn's doing. Come on, dude. Holy shit. That freaking rough is coming in so hot. Yeah, dude. I don't know what the hell Flynn's doing. Dude, Flynn has the fastest car here, and he's still not able to win. I mean, I know the Cezetta and the Jaguar are going to be really hard to fight, but dude, he got beat by a California and an RGT. Dude, I hope Kobayashi doesn't break at Daytona. I mean, I expect him to lift in the corners and maybe tap the brakes slightly, but, dude, if Kobe, I mean, Kobayashi's a rookie, so I'm not going to be too hard on him. All right, any day, Flynn. We're going so much faster than the California is. Mm. 
I think having a rookie in these higher races would not be good as they are weak and would pass out of the wheel before finishing. I mean, true, but it, it is Daytona. I mean, the race is going to be relatively short, so I can only imagine that uh, Kobayashi might do okay. I mean, if he gets a bunch of slow cars, then you know he'll he'll do just fine and he'll level up quickly. There we go, Flynn. That's what I'm paying you for. Okay, Flynn, I think he had to find his rhythm with his car. And, uh, yeah, myself and the Jaguar, or not myself, Flynn and the Jaguar, driven by Lombardi, they're pulling away from the rest of the field. How fast is he going? Yeah, we're gaining more speed than the Jaguar is. Flynn should get him into turn one. Come on, complete the overtake, dude. Oh, he's holding him off. All right, we got to fight. I don't know why he's giving him so much breathing room, but it's like, okay, dude. Maintain the pace now. Come on. Now we can pace them up here on the on the fast part of the track. I mean, Flynn's cool as a cucumber right now. I mean, he's not really doing much to throw the race away. Like, he hasn't spun yet, he hasn't hit the wall, so I'm going to make him go hot. Dude, he's flying. He's flying right now. 195. Ooh. All right. Two laps to go. I need him to get more aggressive in these corners. Like, he needs to stop holding back. There we go. Yes, that's exactly what I want to see. Maybe an overtake into turn three. Okay, well, I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, he's really hot right now, so that's why he, like, slammed into the back of him, but you know what? I'm cool with that. What's up, Francisco? What's good, bro? All right, well, Flynn at this point, he's doing pretty good. He's not going to lose. I, I doubt he's going to lose the race now. I mean, it's a freaking all-wheel drive car he's driving. He can't get any oversteer. How fast is Lombardi going? UFC vet. What's up, bro? It's been a while. Ooh, the Jaguar is, like, get him, giving him a really good fight. Come on, Flynn. Hold him off. Yes. Come on. Gun it. Gun it. Gun it. I mean, that uh, XJ220 had a really good toe on the front stretch, so I'm not really surprised that happened. Come on, get him, get him into three. Come on. Yes, there we go. GT5, eh? B-Spec was pretty cool in four and five. Haven't played it much, but maybe one day... I will. You could probably make your own championship with V-Spec 2. Um, I don't think you could make your own championship. I don't think that's a feature. But, oh, probably on, on the online you could. I know you could do online V-Spec with your friends back then. And that was a lot of fun, but um, doing good? All right, man, that sounds good to hear. Sounds good. Unfortunately, I'm only streaming this for about an hour. But regardless, I think we're going to have a good stream. Well, Flynn wins a high-speed ring. That was a really good fight between himself and the Jaguar. 
Oh, I mean, like, manually tracking via spreadsheet? Oh! That's true, you could. 1.8 seconds ahead of the Jaguar. The Zonda finishes in third. I remember doing the NASCAR with my friend's drivers. Oh, really? Boom! Level 12. Flynn's now a level 10 driver. Let me go ahead and save this replay. I'm so glad the replay saving is so quick in this game because I don't have to edit these out. See my lower driver gets the seeing my lower drivers get demolished at Daytona. Oh, dude, the NASCAR race. I'm gonna have to like really do a lot of tuning with with uh, my stock car. Okay, as you can see, what Plep King says told you the AI tuned their cars. We have a serious problem here. The cars at Daytona they're heavily, heavily, heavily modified. So what I'm gonna do here is in order to get Kobayashi some skill, I guess, and to get some money. We're going to get into the Red Bull X 2011 real quick, and we're going to do some money grinding. We're going to increase our level, and we're going to increase Kobayashi's skill because we can we can get him up there, you know? So, I'm going to transition back right now. Well, we're back, and as you can see, I'm level 12 now, and I attempted many times to do this race already. But, Maldonado... He says he's feeling good, but he's screwing up so bad at Daytona. So Flynn is going to take the wheel. And by the way, Kobayashi is now level 7. Frank Williams is sending the police as we speak. Yeah, because Maldonado is being an idiot. Maldonado was basically going behind the cars and staying behind them. Like, not even bump drafting, nothing like that. Like, he, he literally was getting stuck behind traffic and getting frustrated and trying to swerve around them. Like, it was stupid. The problem, too, is we were facing against the, uh, a McLaren F1. And that car was way too OP. For this track. GT5, one day you're driving a Mini, the other you're on an Aventador. I know. <laughs> Only in Gran Turismo. Now, the Cadillac Cien might be a car that could give us some trouble. But his uh, shifting is really slow. If I remember correctly from GT4, if that applies here, I think the Cadillac Cien, the Cadillac Cien is really bad at shifting. So, maybe that could play to our advantage. Can you turn off the TCS for AI? Nope. Maldonado, please don't break in the corners. Maldonado's like, okay. <laughs> See what I mean? This this dumbass gets stuck behind a car and he just like starts to swerve. But you know what? He's up to fifth already. Flying Flynn is back. Yeah, dude. Actually, I said this idiot. I'm the idiot because it's Flynn. But you know what? Flynn isn't doing as bad as Maldonado was. Maldonado will take everyone. Oh, oh, wait already. <laughs> so this is basically just a a fight for the fastest car. Flynn, the demigod. <laughs> yeah, he's doing good. You know, the good thing about having Kobayashi do some level grinding is that we can get Kobayashi to do some of the beginner events now and build up his skill. And that's the plan. And when I hire my fourth driver, the fourth driver can also get leveled up through money grinding or whatever. And then he can do some of the amateur events. Because I'm not doing these events in order, of course, as you guys can see. Ooh, the Cadillac Cien got really loose coming into three. Out of four, and the Cadillac Cien is losing some of the draft. Flynn Oval is easy Maldonado. I need a spotter. This is a nice pack fight right here for fourth. Oh, the Zonda's leading the pack in third. Let's check out this fight. What's up, Arthur? Dude, the Ferrari 512! Look at this thing go! The old school Ferrari holding off the rest of the field. The rest of the best.
Dude, these guys are bump drafting. See, this is what Maldonado had to do, but he refused to do any of this stuff. You ever see the insane Cadillac concept from 2004 or 5 that had a V16 engine? It had a huge bonnet. I forgot the name. Um, I can't remember the, the Cadillac concept. The only one I remember is the Cien and the 16 from Midnight Club. Those are the only Cadillac concepts that I know. Sandwich? Yeah, pretty much. They're all bump drafting each other in the Nissan getting up here. Nissan, Nissan, however you want to call it. Cut <laughs> ESCN. Oh, it is the 16? I don't really remember what the 16 looks like. I just remember from Midnight Club, and that's it. Oh, it okay. Thanks, Arthur. Ah, uh, yes, I knew it was something with the 16. Yeah. Do that Viper. Oh my god, that's such a gorgeous Viper. I'm in love with that thing. Like, I'm saying it right now, when I do the A-Spec Nurburgring 4 hours, I'm using the Viper. I know it's a tuner car event, but this thing's kind of a ricer, not ricer, but you know what I mean, like it's kind of tuned in a way. What happened to Robertson? Dude, what happened to second place? Oh, he um, he's cooling down way too much. So is Flynn, but you know what? Finally, with all the upgrades, we finally are going to win at Daytona. Coming out of turn four. Here he comes. S. Flynn from uh, Mississippi wins the Daytona 500. I don't know. I just said a random state. Another thing that made me sad is the Vanquish never got a premium model, hopefully in sport. Yeah, dude, there's so many cars that deserve the premium model. Like, I, I could sit here all day and talk about which cars deserve to get the premium treatment. And Flynn's now level 11. So normally, I would remove Lonk from Pennsylvania wins the race. <laughs> well, I would remove the modifications, but we got super lucky with the first race, and the only competition we had was the... I think it was the XJ220, yeah. So we're going to stay with the mods. Flynn's going to drive once again at the Nürburgring. And we have a Countach leading in the field, a Murcielago right behind. V8 Vantage, Viper SRT10 ACR, Pagani Zonda, Maserati Gran Turismo. Okay. The ZZ2 is going to be the tough car to fight. But other than that, I think we'll be okay. Alright, Flynn. Here it is. And away you go. <laughs> well, taps the rear of the Vantage. I mean, he had a really, really good start. Dude, this boy is having a really good start. Oh my god. Yeah, the ZZ2 is going to be really tough to fight. Come on, push the Kuntash. Can't imagine how slow the AI is around the Norschleife. Yeah, me neither. There you go. Now it's time to chase down the ZZ2. Boom! Nicely done.
Yep, GG. He literally just needs to hold him off for four laps. Four more laps after this. Dude, if the AI are bad, imagine the Indianapolis 500 endurance. Oh my god. Dude, for the Indy 500, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using like an OP car. Like, I don't even want to think about that. The one I'm not looking forward to is the NASCAR um, championship. <laughs> Jay Ryden S. Snake. Dude, if I could get those names, that'd be awesome. It would be cool if I had D. Hater and Q. Flynn. Instead of S. Flynn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy now, Flynn. Ooh, the Zonda's keeping up with the ZZ2. That, these Vipers, oh my god, they're so beautiful. Like, Vipers are my favorite cars. Oh yeah, I was sort of imagining Flynn being Quincy Flynn in the Aventador. <laughs> the NASCAR one is a pain on Ace Tech, especially when the AI spins you out. I don't really remember much of the NASCAR championship here. I know it's like Daytona, Indy, High Speed Ring, Laguna Seca, and... I don't know. I don't really remember. I know in GT6 it's Willow Springs, but I can't really remember much of it. Like, see, the biggest thing I'm scared about is the endurances in this game, because I hope Flynn and Maldonado are competent enough by the time when they have to lead the entire field or lead the entire team to a 24-hour race, I'm afraid that, like, you know, I'm going to let the console be on idle, I'm going to let Maldonado and Flynn do their thing, and they're going to throw the race away, like, at the 20th hour or something, you know, when I'm asleep. <laughs> That's the biggest thing I'm scared about. Maintain the pace. Oh, the Mira catching up. Alright, Flynn. Three more laps to go, bud. You almost got it. All right, I'm back. I muted real quick so I can get some water. And let's see here. The Veyron is actually one of my favorite looking cars. It's the first hypercar I ever fell in love with too. Yeah, and it's unfortunate that they gave it such a uh, disservice in this game by making the standard model, making it a PSP model that's been upscaled for PS3. Like, that is a shame. Yeah, though, when I saw it from the early event of GT Sport, my mouth was watering. <laughs> Is that why you got the world record or whatever for that one uh, GT Sport 
mission because it's with a Veyron. And you just felt like you had to do it over and over again. Dude, I'm still like shocked at that run. Well, you don't have the world record. You're tied for the world record. Alright, Flynn's taking it a little bit too easy. Let's make him pick up the pace just a little bit more. Oh yeah, that does help. I'm a determined guy anyways, but with, with but with it being the very round plus me knowing I can get up there, I had to keep pushing. Did you eventually beat it? I mean, what was it, like 260-something? I can't remember what the the world record was. Oh, 257.3, that's right. Yeah, dude, that, that thing seems impossible, and for, for me at least. Like, I'm like, dude, how the hell do you manage to do that? Just keep pushing, Flynn. Push harder. Come on. That ZZ2 starting to catch up. Well, actually, how is he in fourth? What happened? Let me check GT Planet. All right. Come on, dude. Just push a little bit harder, please. I just have to keep spamming that. Like, I wanted to be in the very middle. 257.3. Gotcha. Alright. One more lap to go, Flynn. I want him to remain in the middle. Zonda's in second, Mira third, ZZ2 fourth, Marcelo go fifth, Kuntas sixth, Viper seventh, Viper eighth, Bugatti in ninth, Gran Turismo tenth, Vantage, and Aston Martin. Okay. I might actually stream a little bit later and see if it's possible. I think it is. But the window's so tiny for the extra bit of speed, plus you need a perfect run. Yep. That's what I was thinking too, because I remember going back to one of your archives, because Marvin told me to, and I was just like. I was like, dude, the UFC fighter does not have the world record. And then when I saw it, I was like, oh shit, he's tied for the world record. <laughs> I'm like, this is nuts. By the way, are you going to do MGS4 anytime soon? Now that you've done three? <laughs> well, you should feel honored. I mean, not many people can say that they they hold one of the top spots in the entire world, bro. I remember back in GT5 when um, there was like a time trial for Monaco or whatever. I had the world record for like five seconds because I was like one of the first people to do it. And then one of the fast guys, I think one of the TRL guys or something, they beat my record badly. And I was like, aw. That felt nice for a little bit. <laughs> but... Yeah, it's like the closest I've ever came to doing something like that. Nice, dude. I'm playing number four myself right now. Like, for the first time in... Five years? Back in high school, I actually did the, um, I actually got the big, the big boss rank, dude, and, like, I broke, dude, I broke a controller in the middle of that process. Dude, that big boss run, oh my god, dude, I'm probably gonna, you know what, I'm probably gonna do, um, another live stream for that.
European Extreme, yeah, screw that, dude. <laughs> but then again, the Boss Extreme, I mean, that's what I did. But yeah, the older ones, mm -mm, I don't think I could. I remember when the new round of seasonals came up, I went to the Drift at Sakuba with the Merc Gullwing, managed to snatch the eighth, eighth in the world within the first minutes. <laughs> I know, right? If you, you feel like, yeah, like you feel like the best, and then like when you realize, like the next day, you're like, two thousand. You're like, oh god damn it! All right, guys, it's prize card time. What the hell do we win for doing the super card festival? Grand tour has been locked. What the hell is a clicks concept? A Hyundai? Really? Why the hell do we win this thing for the Supercar Festival? Why not a Supercar? I thought it was a type when I first saw it, figured out it was actually a Cleo. Wait, this is a Cleo? What? Hey, noob Sabot. We're pretty good. How are you? Alright, let's check out our new Hyundai Clicks. Clee, Clicks, Clee. However you want to pronounce it. Um, that's cool, I guess. But for the Supercar Festival, I mean... I was expecting a little bit more to be honest, but whatever, it's a free car. At least we get prize cars in this game, I like GT6. 